Hello everyone, this is Rex from Return of Fitch Gaming here with War Thunder. Now this has been a game I've been playing quite a lot recently. It is a World War II fighter plane simulation kind of thing, where you bring in your fighter planes and try to accomplish objectives. I am part of the Russian fleet, as you can see with my bar here. Those are all tier 2 planes as well, and you can see all the planes I've researched. Uh, it's a really cool game where you can modify all your planes to um, shoot better or uh, have different things. I've modified a lot of my planes to have such as ex incendiary or explosive bullets. Um, now there's also different missions where there's uh, domination or missions like this one where it's destroy ground targets. So I'm going to start with the Yak-9, which is one of my most... Eff um, I have th there's a combat rating in this game. Three of mine are 3.3s, one's a 3.0, and one is a... 2.3, but of course you cycle those out whenever you can. So let's get right into it here when the planes start. Hello all passengers out there. Thank you for choosing Soviet airliners. We will be taking you to our objective. We are glad that you have chosen to fly Soviet air. Because not only do you get to fly in a fighter jet to your location, you also are personally invited by yourself and don't have to share the confining constraints of a large airplane. There might be a bit of turbulence along the way, and if the plane starts hurtling towards the ground, that is normal. Do not be concerned. Just eject out of the plane as per normal. Thank you for flying with us. Alright, so the goal of this game, is me as a fighter, is to shoot down the other people so people can shoot over objectives and bomb their uh, base there. My goal is to shoot down enemy bombers and shoot down fighters that are hurting my friend's bombers. You can see we just got an assist there. Now I've been doing well all day, but as soon as I press that record key I'm probably gonna suck. So I'm sorry if I'm bad for you guys. They're getting crap on my cockpit. Oh no, they crashed into each other. Okay. Oh, there's definitely things shooting at me. So that green guy there is if you are not in a squad, which means if you're not playing with friends, they put someone with you and call it a squad. That way you can still get squad achievements. Because they find someone else who is not in a squad. Uh, my flying speed's too low? Let's go faster. Faster, faster, faster. You can see up in the upper left there, that is all of, um the need to know about the plane. As you can see we're going at 110%, 320 kilometers an hour. We're at an altitude of about 900 kil or meters. Currently getting shot quite a lot. That's just a bit of that turbulence I talked about initially. You can see we are still in the air no matter how amazing the sweep may be. And we do fully intend to get you to your destination today. Thank you for flying with us. Your flight is now concluded. You can see we got one assist, and that was all we did in that life. Which I think is pretty good. <laughs> now when you run out of planes, the match is just over for you, and that is the depressing fact of it. it looks like the enemy team is doing way better than us right now. And there's someone going down for a run on that. Try something a little risky here. It looks like a bomber because you can s bombers have the uh, rear turret mounts. Now I've heard many complaints about our company that uh, we get people killed, but I just want to say that's a cool stereotype. We've only killed 100% of our people, but 100% of our people is only one. Okay. So that is not a reason to lose confidence in us, as both are weapons jam. So alright, we're just gonna chill and awkwardly follow this guy for a bit. Have a little bit of fun. Just gonna turn around here as this bomber um, continues flying straight. And he goes down. Looks like we got a assist there. Alrighty. Let's see. Who's next? I don't know. It's a nice little mountain here. We can spin around. You like? You guys like tricks? Ugh, yeah. See that trick? 
That's good. We just reloaded our cannon there. Oh yeah. Feeling confident. I'm not sure what we want to do though. Um, we seem to be really far away from everyone. So uh, I guess we have plenty of time just to talk. Uh, so where are we going after this battle? Because I, I was just told to put you in my plane and then continue the mission as normal. I was told it was a way for the company to make money. You know, these fighters aren't actually intended to be passenger planes. Fun fact. Uh, but we make it work just for you guys. Oh, and, um, so... Teams are not based on faction. They're based on, um... They're just based on whoever the game can find. That was exciting. But yeah, it's based on whoever the game can find. So there will be people from all five factions on both teams. As you saw, we were shooting a Lag 3, which is a Russian plane. Alrighty, it looks like... I don't know, it looks pretty close. So, we're gonna keep trying to defend this base, because that's what we do is defend bases. Alrighty. Whoa, our pilot about fell unconscious due to G-Force. G-Force is bad force sometimes. Got him. Look at us, we shot one down. They're not getting to their final destination. They're still flying straight up last time we looked at them. Uh, it means eventually they're going to start coming back down. Probably. Unless they made it to space, which I doubt. I mean, it'd be cool if they went to space. And then they could t we can tell them how we got gave them um free ticket to space. Whoa. Now this is just a standard keyboard and mouse game as I am controlling the front with my... I'm controlling where the gun is pointed with my mouse and how the plane is tilted with my keyboard. And you can see these dogfights do get a little intense here as all of us are flying around each other. Eventually people will start accidentally colliding with each other. It's really annoying when uh, teammates do it. Some people try the uh, danger zone thing as well. Where you uh, fly at each other and then tilt. Oh, we gotta pull up, pull up, pull up. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Firing a little machine gun. Alright, now we got the cannon. Looks like the enemy is slightly winning. And our little friend got shot down, as you can see in the lower right. It's not so good for him. Whoa! A little close. Gotta say, a little close. That aircraft's going down. I'm not sure if we got it or we got an assist, because I wasn't really looking. Got him, though. <laughs> double strike is the double kill. Uh, getting some G-Force rebound. As long as this base is alive, they can't win the game. We seem to have a pretty good squad defending this base. Oh no, they got another guy come back, back here. Oh yeah, you can see the type of uh, plane underneath the name there. Alrighty. Looks like we're uh, pretty good right now, I think. Oh no, there's blimps on the mini-map. Hmm. Oh no. Pull up, pull up. W key is really handy because it's the pull up button. When the mouse isn't doing it fast enough, you have the W key. Or the S key. Yeah, the S key. Right. Let's see. Looks like around the mountain is where the fighting's happening. Oh no, he's going he's going this way. He's in a hurricane. It's a British ship, maybe? Created him. And I accidentally destroyed a friend. Whoops. Sorry, friend. Sorry about your uh, plane there. Yeah, there is friendly fire in this game. They try to make it as pretty realistic. Minus the whole controls being keyboard and mouse thing. That's not really realistic. Hmm. 
Well, we're currently getting shot, and you can see down on the lower left, you can see what is damaged on our plane right now. Well, time for evasive maneuvers. It looks like we killed someone. That's pretty good. Now we hope some uh, friendly will uh, help us here. As we are currently getting shot at. And are hurtling right towards that mountain. Critted him. Shot him some more. Critted him. This guy on me again. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh no. Oh no, there is so a guy on me. Alright, now we're going to try to shoot someone and evade. Fancy flying, right? Right? You guys are proud of me, aren't you? Nope, we're going down. We're going down. We've lost our tail. Yep, we're going down. Right into the water. We killed four airplanes, though. It's professional times five. Five, actually. Because we got one just as we were going down. Because uh, there's the whole feature of lighting people on fire. Pretty nasty. So this is a lag. Those other planes were yaks. Lags are a little different. So you can even sound different. Uh, or as you can hear from the sound difference, not that, yeah. I, I don't exactly recall what I said, but it was not correct. Because words are hard sometimes, okay? Yeah, we're gonna go fly right into this again. Right down into it. Whoa. There we go again. Uh, hurricane. Survive. We lit him on fire. And he died. So as long as our base is alive, they can't end the game. But look at all the water. Look how pretty this is. Just a nice scene flying through a mountain. Ignore all the smoke coming from the ground, okay? Okay, we're just on a nice little tourist flight. Giving you a friendly tour of the mountains. You guys like toys? Hope so. Oh, Yak's coming right over the mountain, I think. No, he's not. Looks like a little bit of a dogfight over here. As there is some guys on my friends. Hit him once. Oh, we got the best squad, looks like. Okay. So that was uh, War Thunder. It's, like I said, one of my favorite games. And you guys could even come and join my squad if you wanted to, and we can all play and have fun. But yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, this has been Rex, signing off. Later, guys.